Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, welcome. I'm Bonnie, Old Soul Mermaid, and I'm very glad that you found me. Today is an unboxing video of a very special deck, at least to me, and it is a prime example of sometimes uh, when retail therapy is needed. So if you'd like to see the deck and to find out the reasons why this deck is very special to me, stick around and we'll get to it. Here is the Low Rider Dachshund Tarot by Melissa Wortherspoon. Now, if you're not familiar with Melissa's work, she is the creator of the beautiful Lonely Dreamer Tarot, and she also has a couple of Lenormand decks as well. Now, um, this is the first. Yeah, this is the first edition. I have both editions of the Lonely Dreamer Tarot, and I really, really appreciate uh, Melissa's work. So, as you know, if you've been on my channel, you know that recently we lost our beloved Dachshund Riley. He was very old. He was somewhere between 18, 19 years old, and he was a, a rescue dog, so we didn't know exactly um, how old he was because he was rescued as a stray. So I have held off on this deck for a while because I knew that the um, cards, or at least most of the cards from what I'd seen had been, you know, kind of landscape. So uh, I kind of held off on that. But, um, and this deck has been around for a while. But since we lost our dog, on the on the day that we lost him, I just remembered that this deck was in existence. And I went on Melissa's Etsy store to see if it was still available. And it, thank goodness it was. Um, and my husband says, get it. Just get it. Because we were literally within 20 minutes of us um, saying goodbye to Riley. We had a a vet come to our home and it was very very peaceful and beautiful and he he slipped away so seamlessly and it, it was like he was ready and he he died in our arms and um uh it couldn't have been more pleasant of an experience and we were glad um that we did it that way that we had the vet come to our home because the way Riley was he he he, he lost most of his senses could barely see could barely hear even we noticed his scent was going and um putting him in a crate and taking him to a a um our vet you know they're busy and um you know sometimes depending on how busy they are the whole process can feel can be rushed is what we researched and this way you know we were able to take our time and our goodbyes and it was very peaceful and beautiful and um I'm very thankful for that but yes within minutes of of, of saying goodbye um I I purchased I hit purchase on this deck because I knew I needed it um so um, what we got with, with the deck is, um, this nice, um, authentic, uh, uh, certificate. So I got copy 443 out of 650 and, um, this is still, this is her signature and this, I guess, came out uh, originally in 2019, so it has been out for a while. So, a certificate of authenticity, and I believe these are the backs of the cards. And um, this is the beautiful death card. And as you can see, I have Riley with me right here with his last color, his little paw print. And I think this extra death card is probably going to go. I keep this, we made a little, um, 
little altar on our book book shelf we made a little space for him and I think this is gonna go up there I need to get an acrylic stand for his paw print and I would like to paint this but okay, so we're gonna get looking to the deck before I start blubbering more. So I'm going to take the plastic off, see how beautiful it is. It's all shrink wrapped and it's just um, a beautiful, beautiful production so far. And she created this deck when she lost her own beloved dachshund. And it says, may the little low riders in this deck bring you insight and comfort. This deck is dedicated to Stella and all of the creatures who change us for the better. So that's her sweet little pup. So I'm going to take the plastic off and we're going to dive into this.
musical flip through of this beautiful deck. Oh my goodness, can you see just the life in this deck and the humor? You can tell that um, Melissa, you know, definitely owned a dachshund. Um, you can see how she added in very um, cleverly the some of the symbols of the RWS deck. Look at the Empress. Oh my goodness, so sweet. And look at her with her little pregnant belly or nursing belly. Oh, so sweet. But she did. She very much, with these dogs, captured the essence of the RWS deck and also capturing the essence of the dachshund itself. Now, I, there was a couple of dogs and a couple of cards in here that reminded me of some fosters that we had. Um, years ago, we used to uh, foster for Central Texas Dachshund Rescue in in fact, my husband was on the board and he was in charge of intake. So whenever there was a call, you know, he would be in charge of um, of collecting dogs, sometimes meeting uh, people halfway through en route to pick up a dog to go into foster or to go to their new forever home. And he did that for several years and we had several, several fosters. Now I will point out that here in the death card you have the option so this was an extra death card um so you could put in the option that you like i don't know which one i like better i like them both um and then at the end there was this extra card with just and i think i'm gonna have this you know on my bookcase and I do have a framed picture of Riley on my bookcase, um, but I think I'm gonna keep this one out with it. Um, just, oh, and this one, we did have a foster, Little Red. She had, a, she was a light color brown, almost like a blonde. And she had one blue eye, one brown eye, she was beautiful she had the most beautiful teeth which isn't always the case with dachshunds if you know dachshunds they can have bad teeth and bad backs those are just genetically the two things that um are can be a problem with dachshunds i think this devil is hilarious so cute oh my goodness my dog Simon, the one that I still have, he's a mix. He's half dachshund and half something else. I don't know. I think maybe beagle. Um, he has the long body of a dachshund, but his legs are definitely longer. But yeah, some genetic problems that you'll get with a purebred uh, dachshund. And she points it out in, I think, the Ten of Swords that we'll see. But I just think it's beautiful. Yes, my uh, dachshunds think they're wolves howling at the moon, howling at uh, uh, ambulances. Um, we had one foster, Dagwood, that um, used to howl every time my youngest played the piano. We had, and this is so cute, the sun instead of a baby, we get a little baby puppy. Um, we had a a um oh and look the um you get the symbology of the rws the horn angel uh, gabriel's horn and the angel uh sebastian would would bark and nip at my son's heels every time he did the wii you know he, the the gaming system and he played a wii game tennis or whatever um I just think this is clever. It just it just brings back so many memories. And it does have special meaning. Oh, that cute little piebald. Ah, oh, and see my dog Simon does the prairie dog all the time. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. But six of Wands, it's just, yeah. <laughs> My goodness, my goodness, she 
be the eight of wags very 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 cute so I, I don't know I don't know if this deck I will try to read with it it'll be very interesting or when I want to just feel Riley closer to me um, I will bring out this deck or if I if perchance this is so cute this is Crusoe the celebrity dachshund I'm not sure but I will bring this deck out you know if I know somebody is a pet lover or has a dachshund or has lost a pet this would be a great deck for that I will try to read with it though. This is so cute. Um, but basically I did, I got it. It was a form of retail therapy. This dog, and there's one other I think coming, exactly like our, our first um, foster by the name of Dagwood. And he was 10 years old when we got him into our home. And he and Simon did not get along. In fact, they got in two major fights um, where they had to go to the emergency vet. Yeah. It was not fun. And both times I was alone at the time. Had to break that up. Not fun. But Dagwood was a sweet dog. And he went, oh my gosh. He went to a wonderful home and lived out <clears throat> his uh, last years in style and comfort and in poshness. And that was so great. Uh, some of the dogs I didn't want to give up. I really, really didn't, but they all went to really, really good homes. And that's another, oh, this is so sweet. Um, the little dog pile. The, the other thing my husband did was um, dog home visits to make sure that the home was, you know, safe, a safe environment for a dog to come in. It was a lot better situation than, this is so cute, see, RWS, than, you know, a shelter will just adopt a dog out without doing home visits and things. Because of the sheer volume, they can't be so, um, so careful who they, who they let go and you know to what home so you know rescue is 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 a good way to go though i'd say any i i'd say go rescue first if you want a dog go rescue there are so many of them that just need homes and they turn out to be the best dogs but of course it's it, it's an individual choice if there's a certain breed but i would say if there's a certain breed that you're that you're looking for I would definitely say there's probably a rescue in your area for it, so it would be nice to maybe check there first if you're looking for a certain breed. Like we did, we were looking for a dachshund and we found uh, Central Texas Dachshund Rescue. So cute. So cute for the Five of Swords. Oh, so sweet. Oh, yes. The food thieves. Dachshunds are beggars. I just love the joy and reckless abandon in this Eight of Swords. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Nine of Swords. Oh, look here. Things that scare. Old age rain, thunder, you know, yes. And you know, it was really sad. Um, our dog Riley used to be very, very afraid of the thunder until he lost his hearing. So this is the 10 of swords, yes, when they go down in the back or certain issues. Now Riley never went what they call going down in the back where they have to have surgery, where they have these breaks and problems in the spine, but he did have a tender back. So when he and when he was younger would wrestle with Simon, sometimes he'd get a sore back and um, we'd have to get some pain meds for him, but he never have had to have surgery, which was a good thing. Simon's never had a problem with his back because um, we think it's because he's a mix. He's not a, a purebred 
Oh, how cute. See, this looks like my Riley. And this also looks like King Kingsley, the celebrity dachshund. The celebrity Australian dachshund. It looks like King Kingsley to me. Oh, sweet. Very sweet. So yeah, dachshunds are stubborn and they do, they can. You have to be careful. Don't let them jump off furniture or onto furniture. Um, when they get too rough and tumble in playing, um, they can go down in the back. They really can. And um, and this is another one. Look, reminds me of our, our Dagwood, our first foster. Yeah. Uh, he went to, my husband was walking. He was waiting for my, my son at his fencing class in downtown Austin. And we were fostering Dagwood and we got a vest that says, adopt me. So my husband would walk him around town lake and this woman totally fell in love with him. She was jogging and fell in love with him. And so, you know, they exchanged information and she was um, very, very well to do. And she was engaged to a vet. And so um, he became a very, very posh dog. Went to a just wonderful living situation. They had a wonderful boat, so he became a lake dog. She sent us pictures with him in the boat with the, um, his little vest and, and he just was living the life of Riley, basically. Dagwood was living the life of Riley with the home that he went. And I was so grateful that he lived his, his last few years in comfort and ease and poshness. And he had a vet to take care of him. Oh, so sweet. There are some dachshunds that get along with cats, but my two certainly do not like cats. <laughs> um, Riley was also coined by my son as Dig Dug because of his love for digging in the backyard. And oh my gosh, every time I was trying to run the kids out the door and I was trying to get to work, Riley would come in, I'd call him in from the backyard and he'd have inches of mud on his paws. Of course, I'd have to clean them before I could let him go because other, I didn't want him tracking mud all over the house and the furniture and um, uh, so frustrating. <laughs> and you know, there's scent hounds too. So walking with them is not easy peasy because they want to stop and sniff everything so if you think you're gonna get a little bit of a fitness walk walking your dachshund no because you're constantly stopping at least that was my experience with the docks dachshunds I fostered and my own there's the knight of pentacles the queen of pentacles oh my gosh she looks like the girl with the pearl earring you know that painting doesn't she so sweet. And the king of pentacles. Look at that Macau in there. Uh, <laughs> wonderful humor. So let's take a look at this beautiful book. This companion book, just really quick. Um, just in case you are thinking you'd ever want one of these as a gift or for yourself. There's her beautiful dog. Um, the backstory in 20, November 2017, I made the very difficult decision to say goodbye to my best dog, my little red dachshund, Stella. Two, day, two days later on a whim, I wandered into a psychic fair and sat down with a medium whose first words were to me, there's a dog here. The hour that followed was like the lightning bolt in the tower card. At the end of it, the medium pulled out the Rider Waite Smith deck and my past flooded in as I hadn't seen that deck. The one I used on a daily basis since my teens and early twenties. 
Even though I had a set tarot aside to make way for life stuff, it was like having a conversation with an old friend. I immediately, immediately went out and picked up an RWS deck and then a few more and a few more after that. Using tarot as a tool for processing grief, I hesitantly ventured into doing readings for others and in giving people guidance, my grief was lessened. Finding an amazing group of tarot lovers on Facebook, a big shout out to tarot nerds, blew the door wide open. A year later, with Stella's death still weighing heavily on my mind, I realized I needed a creative project to dive into. Again, the thought came to me in a flash, a dachshund-themed tarot deck. Following the initial idea, each card design came about strangely easily, and each 8x10 oil painting for the most part seemed to paint itself. For my process, I reached out to the dachshund owners I knew who would be willing to share photos with me of their low riding models. I had a lot of encouragement from friends and family along the way and feel very fortunate to have the support of the Tarot Nerds dachshund community. Opening for opting for a horizontal orientation for this deck seemed like a natural fit. I love the long backs of dachshunds and their grounded grounded burrowing and snuggling nature and I like the thought that being a parallel with the cards I like the thought of that being a parallel with the cards I feel I have achieved a grounded and settled feel by turning traditional tarot 90 degrees the name lowrider is an homage to the dachshund and the writer and to the writer community the publisher of the deck in 1910 and um, then she goes into tarot. To beginners and seasoned card slingers alike, my wish is that the little dogs on these cards carry big things for you and bring you exactly what you need in the moment that you need it. Um, this has spreads emerging from the plague. <laughs> it spreads. Oh my gosh. The dog pile spread, the bone spread. And then she goes into the, to the major arcana. And um, there's a little blank space for notes. And she has the name of the dog in, in the um, description. So you get keywords in the description of the card. Um, yeah, she has the name. So like the magician was Phoebe, the fool was Fritz. So it's not very, you know, it's not fancy, but you get exactly what you need. Oh my gosh. I love that the empress, her name was Bronte. My, um, I love the Bronte sisters and the, um, my normal, you know, my Instagram that I have for tarot stuff is Old Soul Mermaid, but I have, you know, a normal uh, account and it's Bronte44, if you care to know, but it's, yeah. Oh my goodness. So what do we get for the miners? A little less but you still get a description and keywords. Oh, I love that the Two of Swords is named Kaiser. I think I've seen the Instagram account for Kaiser. So what else do we get? Do we get anything else? I don't think so, just, um, yes, okay. So the Queen of Pentacles was was Bronte poses like Vermeer's girl with the pearl earring. So I was right. She, Bronte also appears as the Empress. Okay, so I, this is really, really wonderful. So she has a space for notes for all the dogs and all the cards. So fantastic, fantastic. 
so that's the extra death card before we finish let's just oh look how look how perfect they match with my spread cloth we're just going to shuffle these and i will say you know what this feels more like i think i said llewellyn cardstock it feels more like to make plain cards if you know that helps um you know they are pretty much standard tarot size A good little shuffle. Yeah, I don't have any trouble handling them. And if I need, if I were a riffle shuffler, I am a very bad riffle shuffler. Yeah, you have no problem. No problem at all shuffling these cards at all. Um, just to kind of lay them out a little bit so you can see how they, oh, look at that. Look at that, my sweeties. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So much furry goodness here. Oh baby. Look at that. Oh, Dagwood. To me, that's Dagwood. Look how sweet this is. Oh, oh, I love it. So that concludes my walkthrough and unboxing of the Low Rider Dachshund Tarot by Melissa Wortherspoon. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful deck and you know that she put a lot of effort and care um, for dachshund lovers for herself and for those who love um, these furry little low rider creatures um, yes I bought this deck purely for reasons of retail therapy and I would say it did its job just looking through these images um, brings sweet memories uh, just docs and behavior illustrations of docs and behaviors and looks and just their wonderful essence and characteristics um i still have one dachshund with me which i'm so grateful for so i would say you know a beginner could read with this deck a really uh, um intuitive beginner you do have the symbols for the rws deck it does follow that uh, system um, you know, maybe you have somebody who really wants to learn tarot, uh, RWS isn't, uh, you know, gelling with them, you know, the traditional artwork, maybe they love dogs, maybe they love dachshunds, this would be a great deck. I am going to try reading with it, and truly, I don't know if it's a deck that I'm, I can, um, read with all the time it it will probably just be a deck that i have and i break out occasionally when i'm thinking about riley um or it could be something i i, I have and that will come in handy reading for somebody else in the future um you know i don't know but i'm glad i have it and you know i may even consider because it's so special to me i may consider have getting a second one if while there's still some available i don't know um but only because it has special meaning to me so let me know your thoughts um i leave in the comments below what was your deck that you specifically got because of retail therapy you knew you weren't it wasn't going to be a workhorse for you but you got it and you keep it around just because you love it and you love the artwork, even though it, it, it isn't a quote unquote workhorse deck for you. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments. I'd sure love to hear. And with that, thank you for spending time with me. And um, yeah, I'll let you get on with your beautiful day. I'll be back real soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.